This talk introduces a new non-line-of-sight imaging technique, which we call keyhole imaging, with which one can image and track moving hidden objects using measurements captured along a single optical path. Imaging objects outside the line of sight of a camera is known as non-line-of-sight, or NLOS imaging. It has important applications in remote sensing, medical imaging, robotics, search and rescue, autonomous driving, and many other fields. NLOS imaging has established itself as an emerging research area with many recent publications. Most NLS imaging methods use time-resolved systems to measure light which passes between a hidden object and a large visible surface, like a wall. These transient signals are sampled at many locations on the wall, then processed to estimate the 3D shape of the hidden object. The resolution such a system can achieve is fundamentally limited by the size of the sampling area. Accordingly, NLS imaging is restricted to applications where a large sampling area is visible. Previous work in NLS imaging was motivated by the question can you see around a corner using an open door? In this work, we instead ask, is it possible to see inside a room using the keyhole of a closed door? The latter problem is significantly more challenging because we can only sample light from a single optical path. To solve this problem, we propose transmitting a collimated laser beam through a door's keyhole. The laser hits a single point on a wall inside the room and scatters in all directions thereby indirectly illuminating the objects inside the room. This indirect light in turn scatters off of the objects inside the room, and some of that light travels back to the sampling point on the wall, and all the way back through the keyhole to the detector. The scanning surface that is accessible to in this configuration reduces to just a single point, and conventional wisdom says that we should not be able to recover anything from this configuration. However, by leveraging a hidden object's motion, we develop an inverse method that estimates the object's shape and trajectory from these transient measurements. Our experimental setup is illustrated in the following video. We send pulsed light through the keyhole of a door, while a hidden object, in this case a mannequin, moves to a series of unknown locations. Meanwhile, we use a single photon avalanche detector to capture time-resolved measurements of the third bounce photons, which pass through the keyhole. Here's an example of a measurement we recorded with our prototype. When the mannequin is in an unknown location in the hidden space, we record a transient that contains time-resolved photon counts relative to the emission of a laser pulse. Without object motion, the information contained in such a measurement is in insufficient to estimate the scene. However, as the hidden object moves, these transient measurements change. In doing so, the transient measurements encode information about both the shape and trajectory of the mannequin. We feed these measurements into the expectation maximization algorithm, which forms estimates of the hidden object's shape and trajectory. Please see our paper for more information about expectation maximization. We test our proposed method on a diverse set of hidden objects. It forms recognizable estimates of each object's shape and excellent estimates of each object's trajectory. By leveraging object motion, Keel Imaging unlocks a brand new set of applications for non-line-of-sight imaging.